notice of a 41% increase on the rent she pays on her downtown apartment that would take effect in April. Checked my rights, um, looked at some stuff online, and then I went to Service New Brunswick and actually sent them um, all my papers, all of the notices, and said, I need a rent revision, essentially. Um, what's going on with this? Is this allowed? And Now that the rent cap has been scrapped, tenants need to approach the Residential Tenancies Tribunal to contest rent increases. She and her landlord have since come to a mutual agreement for a $175 increase that will come into effect in June. I'm breathing a little easier today, but I'm still very anxious about the future, and I think everybody in the building actually still is. She finds it concerning that she and others in the building haven't heard anything from Service New Brunswick. Tenant advocate Nicola Taylor says delays in hearing from the tribunal are a major concern for the tenants she works with, as well as fear of retaliation from landlords. If you are trying to contest rent increase or rent eviction, this is, time is of the essence. You don't have that time because either you have to look for somewhere else, and we know that there is lack of apartments affordable now, or um, you, you're going to have to make that decision to decide if you'll pay a huge rent increase. So again, you're at the hands of you're at the mercy of the hands of the landlord. Service New Brunswick Minister Jill Green says there's no backlog at the tribunal and they are exceeding their targets for timely responses. She says the government is already considering making changes to the process. We're looking at changes to the legislation based on all our interactions with the stakeholders. So right now we're reviewing the legislation again to see if there's other changes that need to be made. Green wouldn't specify further, but says changes are likely to come in the spring. Suzanne Lapointe, Global News, Moncton.